What's going on YouTube? David here again. Um, coming at you guys with uh, two videos in one day because I realized after I made that initial video of me trying Mississippi River for the first time and going to bed and then waking up here um, here on Tuesday afternoon that it was Cobb Tuesday. <laughs> I Working nights, for those of you that work nights, you'll understand the days just all blend together and you forget sometimes what month you're on, let alone what day. So, I felt Cobb Tuesday deserved a Cobb Tuesday rambling video. So, without further ado, here we go. I am smoking some more Mississippi River in my brand new country gentleman I got for Christmas from my parents. They also got me the freehand stem, so I threw that on there. I think it looks really nice, personally. Smoke to Mississippi River again because it was just that good the first time around. Seriously, for whatever reason you haven't tried Mississippi River yet, go give it a shot. It's if you like <clears throat> Latakia and uh, a lot of the stronger non-aromatic tobaccos, it is amazing. I thought for today's Cobb Tuesday video, I do something a little bit different. Usually I just jaw jack at you for 8 to 10 minutes or whatever, but my tobacco order for, from smokingpipes.com came in, so I think I'm going to treat you guys with a box opening. I'm going to have to practice, though, on <coughs> packing this thing just right, because <coughs> still having an issue keeping this stupid th stuff lit. If any of you experienced Mississippi River smokers have any uh, tips on that, go ahead and let me know. There we go. Now I've already <clears throat> undid the tape on this so that I spend less time screwing around on camera and then as little time as possible. So without further ado, <clears throat> let's get to it here. You know what? Here we go. Let's set it behind the camera so I can get to it easier. First tobacco I got is Cornell and Deal's Billy Bud. Now, this is going to be an exercise in faith and hope because I tried this a few years back and I was much more still into aromatics back then and it just... I hated absolutely everything about it. Um, I tried it upon recommendation. For those of you that were in the pipe community back then, you'll know that um, Pipe Friend CHS loves it. So, uh, so I tried it upon his recommendation, and I just I hated absolutely everything about it. Hated, hated the smell. Hated the way it tasted. So. I'm hoping that since I'm branching out and starting to enjoy Latakia blends and stuff like that, that I will like it this time around. The next tobacco I got is the holiday blend I was waiting for, Corn Cob Pipe and a Button Nose by Cornell and Deal as well. I 
I think I might just have to set this down for the remainder of the box opening portion. That's too hard to keep going while I'm talking. The <clears throat> final tobacco I got is Colt Blood Red Moon. Definitely looking forward to trying this. Uh, crowd favorite by everybody who likes aromatic tobaccos and even some folks who don't like aromatic tobacco so I'm, I'm really looking forward to trying that uh, I've already got a pipe set aside to try it in it's a just a cheap uh, no-name briar I've got that smokes cherry tobaccos really well so I'm hoping to try that out in that fairly soon the last things I got is three packs of softy bits and two of the wind caps uh, that pop into uh, the top of the bowl of the pipe to help prevent wind. I uh, don't really deal too much with wind out here in Phoenix, Arizona, at least not on a regular basis. However, I'm going to be trying out taking a pipe with me, one of my smaller corn cobs with me to work and having a quick 10-15 smoke after I eat my um, lunch on my lunch break and I thought I could pack a pipe snap that wind cover on and if the pipe if the tobacco becomes loose in the pipe or what have you that'll at least keep it in the pipe instead of making a mess in whatever pouch or pocket I've got it in so gonna give that a try as well um that's real. That's it for the box opening. Not a ton of stuff, just a small amount. But uh, I'm gonna go back to smoking this Mississippi River here. Um, I am on the lookout. If anyone knows of a website that still has them, a a Savinelli. 320 shape 2016 Christmas pipe uh, all the websites are pretty much out of them they've all just got like the billiard shapes and stuff like that and while there's nothing really wrong with the billiard shapes it's just not I can get billiard shapes in just about any brand of pipe uh, I really really the 320 is kind of unique to Savinelli so I'd really like to get a if there's a website that still has them in stock and carrying them, <clears throat> a seven, a 320 shaped Savinelli Christmas pipe, preferably 2016, but I would take either a 2014 or a 2015 as well, as I really like the look of those those pipes, uh, the way they did those Christmas pipes as well. So, if anyone has any uh, lead on any of those, go ahead and uh, let me know, please. Other than that, I think that's it, so I'm going to go ahead and enjoy the mess, rest of this Mississippi River. Happy smoking.